Tom, 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 Tom walks through. So this tank is maybe my favorite tank I've used so far. This is the Slugger. Um, it is an American tank destroyer. Uh, unlike most tank destroyers, it is turreted. So you can see I can turn my cannon a full 360 degrees. I don't think I really need to show the full 360. Um, you might have noticed another tank in my depot called a Wolverine. I'm not playing that because it's a sucky version of the Slugger. Um, it's a tier 5, whereas the Slugger is a tier 6. And basically, there's nothing that doesn't get better about your life once you are in a Slugger versus a Wolverine. You've got better frontal armor, you can mount better guns, uh, more total health, faster engine. It's just, it's just everything about it is better. Uh, and this is sort of atypical of tank destroyers. You can see that I'm pretty much pushing very far forward into enemy territory here. Um, that is largely because I've actually got very high frontal armor compared to most other tanks at this tier. And I've got a turret so I don't have to worry about getting flanked or anything cute like that. Now I'm in my bush so... It's also very hard to see me. What I really want is for that slugger to poke his head around that corner. Not my, uh, not my easy two there to poke and let them shoot him. All right, so I managed to shoot just barely at that guy's turret. I've got a very long reload time on this gun, but uh, it it hurts. <laughs> it can hurt people. That's pretty nice. And that slugger also got taken care of by my friend in the easy two there. Awesome. So now we can push forward. Um, in general, the biggest thing that you're scared of is artillery in a tank destroyer. Because you're going to be camping so much, um, artillery can kind of kind of rock you if you stay stationary and let them narrow down their shot and get you with it. Uh, and their team does have a bit of artillery, so again, a good reason to kind of keep up with this push going on over here instead of camping. There's a kill. This easy too is awesome. He is my friend. He has great armor. Um, you can see I'm using like a... it's actually a UI mod. Uh, and the top top left and right, you can see sort of the stats of every tank in the game. Well, in this particular game, I should say. So you can see like it, it goes turret armor and then beneath that is whole armor. So it's very, very useful to know those things. Because it lets you know where you should be aiming on tanks, that's the biggest thing. And a lot of times it lets you know whether you should even bother shooting at a tank or not. Because, um, you know, if both their front turret and the front of their tank are super well armored and you can only shoot at the front of them, might as well not bother. Wow, these guys are just camping this ridge pretty hardcore here. That's cool, that's a low tier tank destroyer, so I'll just blow him up. And then this Panzer III, uh, th this... Lower front Glacius here. It's a weak spot on a lot of tanks. I'm having a great game here, jeez. I'm blowing up a lot of tanks. To be fair, I am high tier, so... It is not uncommon. See, this guy's just bouncing shells off my frontal armor. Can't actually do anything to hurt me. And I am penetrating him easily enough, aiming for that weak point on the front. Oh, I wish I could have gotten that shot on that Hetzer. Five kills. There's actually an achievement in this game if you get six kills. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. I think my team will cap this base before I can get back to our base and blow up the last person over there. But I'm going to try and do that anyways. Because, you know, it's for the glory. So yeah, the Sluggers, once you get all the upgrades on it, it's pretty good at tier 6, I guess. I mean, you saw, I was just like, just shooting people once, and sometimes they would die. 
Maybe some of those were tier 3 people, but yeah. It's got great armor penetration on its guns. You don't have to worry about bouncing your shots too much. Oh, no! Someone else got that kill. Dang it, I want my top gun. Anyhow, love my slicker. Up next, I'm going to show you guys the T25AT. Stay tuned for it.